Okay, so now let's go over some of the documentation which we'll see filed in the county recorder's offices after foreclosure proceedings are initiated. Now, I'm going to be mainly referring to procedure here in California or non-judicial foreclosure states, but you're going to see the same kind of documentation show up in judicial states also. Okay, now because the industry thought that the MERS system was going to work properly, they never recorded any assignments of the mortgages or deeds of trust in the county recorder's offices when the notes were transferred into the securitization platform. So we won't see any transfers um, from the originator to the sponsor, from the sponsor to the depositor, from the depositor to the trust. We're not going to see any of that, right? But what needs to happen in, in, in most of these states is that the party who is entitled to initiate foreclosure proceedings is the beneficiary or mortgagee of record. And what's happened is because all these notes have been securitized, the original lender on the deed of trust or mortgage is not the current owner of the note. They're not the current beneficiary or mortgagee of record. So what has to happen is they need to assign the interest out of MERS and into the securitized trust. Now if they had had it their way, MERS would initiate or, or foreclosure proceedings would be initiated on behalf of MERS and because they were the original mortgagee or beneficiary, they would also be the mortgagee or beneficiary of record who has the right to foreclose and there would be no need for an assignment. But because the courts started rejecting them so heavily over the last couple of years, they have changed their policy and so now they assign interest out of the MERS system and to the beneficiary or to the true or what hopefully is the true beneficiary or mortgagee. Okay, now there's two kinds of assignments that you're going to see. You're going to see assignments to the trustee of a securitized trust or you're going to see assignments to their servicer. Now in the case of assignments to the servicer, the servicer is never the note holder or note owner if the mortgage was securitized because it's the trustee of the trust that has the title. So anytime you see an assignment to a servicer like BAC Home Loan Servicing LP or GMAC Mortgage or any of these servicers, that's invalid on its face because they're not the note holder, they're not the note owner, and they're they can get into all sorts of language with the word holder in all this, but if the securitization was done properly, it's the trust that owns the note. Okay? So the assignment should always be to the trust, right? If we were going to be dealing with the facts, um, with with the truth of the matter. But what we see is we see a number of other problems, even when we do see assignments to the securitized trust, there's a number of other reasons why the assignment is invalid. So let me read some of the language here. So this one here says, for value received, the undersigned hereby grants, assigns, and transfers to Deutsche Bank National Trust Company as trustee for GSR 2006 OA1 all beneficial interest under that certain deed of trust, and it lists the deed of trust, describing the land therein, it lists it, together with the note or notes therein described or referred to, the money due and to become due, etc. So what they're saying here is that for value received, they transfer all beneficial interest in the deed of trust together with the note, and they do it according to the execution date on March 29th, 2010. All right? And it's executed by Flor Valerio, Assistant Secretary of MERS, and it's notarized on April 8th of 2010. Okay, so let's go over some of that. First of all, we went over in the MERS video some testimony from R.K. Arnold, and I have, and we also looked at that Walker case, but I have a lot of more information on this. We know that MERS 
does not handle the notes, they don't make any loans, they don't, they don't have any interest in the notes, any of this. Okay, so it says for value received. They receive no value, so that's untrue. It says they transfer all beneficial interest, but they have no beneficial interest, so that's untrue. It says they transfer the note, but they never had the note have any interest in the note, they never transfer or touch the note, and so that's untrue, okay? So then we also have this problem where if this loan is actually been properly securitized and Deutsche Bank National Trust Company as trustee for this securitized trust actually has the right to the note, well then they would have had to follow their pooling and servicing agreement, their trust indenture, and that says that the notes will be transferred by August of 2006, right? The closing date. And so this is executed on March 29th of 2010, almost four years later. Okay, so this is outside of the trust indenture. So this, this can't be legal, right? It's also notarized, what, a week later, and that's because they made a mistake and they started, they started initiating foreclosure proceedings um, before they had become the beneficiary of record. And so when they figured that out and they started, um, and they, and they um, started to foreclose, they said, oh, well, we need to backdate this assignment. Okay. Now. What about Flora Valerio, Assistant Secretary of MERS? Well, the way MERS works is that the company she works for, probably in this case Recon Trust or um, Land Safe Title, the company she works for will send in a list of employees that they want to be MERS certifying officers. And then MERS kicks them back a corporate resolution and Flora Valerio's name should be on that. But According to the way it should work, the parties need to be officers of the member corporation. So if we go and look at the Secretary of State's information and we find out who the officers of Recon Trust or Land Safe Title are, we should see Flor Valerio on there. But if we don't, we know that she doesn't have the ability to bind the corporation, and so that's invalid. We also know that these parties should be attesting to what they have knowledge of, but we know that that's not happening. We know the, everything about the whole robo-signer scandal, right? So that's what, who Flora Valerio is. And sometimes we have situations where the notary's signature doesn't match their oath and certificate, which is filed in the county recorder's office. And so, in this case, it does, but it's very common that the, that the notary signature doesn't match either. Um, so, these are a variety of issues. We've discussed why the language is untrue and incorrect, why it is voidable, and now what happens if this assignment is invalid? Well, if the assignment is invalid, then everything that's filed subsequent to this like a notice of default, a notice of trustee sale, or a substitution of trustee, those are all invalid because they're all based on the fact that this party, Deutsche Bank National Trust Company, is the beneficiary. But if they're not, then all that's invalid. Now, really quickly before this video ends, in California, we have Civil Code 2936, which says that wherever the note goes, the security goes. So what we really need to look at is the note. And in, in this particular case, which, is, which there's a, a ongoing litigation about, we've looked at the note. And I showed that to you earlier, try to find that here. And the note is not endorsed, I have to pull it out, the note is not endorsed according to the pooling and servicing agreement. So the note never made it into the trust. So Deutsche Bank is not a beneficiary, they are not a beneficiary of record, and they don't have the right to foreclose.